Hey guys, round two of the Masters is over. I just wanted to give you my thoughts because I'm obsessed with golf and Tiger Woods. So he shot 74 today, and it's one of the best 74s I've ever seen, I guess. I mean, you, God, you can see how hard that golf course is. And when I look at the leaderboard here, look at some of these names that missed the cut. So Tiger Woods comes back from this near death, almost lost his ability to walk, and he beat Jordan Spieth. Brooks Kepka, Xander Shoffley, Gary Woodland. I mean, Bryson DeChambeau. These guys didn't make the cut. <laughs> they didn't even make the cut. So Tiger's tied for 19th. And the people that are in front of him, I only see Matsuyama, Dustin Johnson, and Morikawa are the only major winners in front of him. So Tiger, Tiger's in the mix, guys. Tiger's in the mix. But... I wanted to just uh, start out this video talking about Tiger because I'm so proud of him and what he's doing. And um, I think it's I think it's really, really wonderful. Now, I do want to take you through some of my golf swings uh, and show you what I've been practicing because I've been blessed. This I call this a miracle because I've searched high and low and I've found the thing that you know, basically, you know, I think I'm going to ride this the rest of my life. I can't, I, I'd be happy if I find something that's better, but I doubt it because in 12 years, this is what I call the unified field theory of my swing evolution. The little over the top move is what I was missing. And, uh, and it's just made all the pieces come together. Now I'm excited because I'm playing golf finally, uh, which means that, you know, I'm not worried about being able to compress the golf ball. Now I'm worried about the direction and the distance of the golf ball. So that turns my focus from internal to external on my target. And, and this is a major, major change. So at any rate, let's take a look at my, uh, my rain session here. I'm going to talk you through some of my drills and feels. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to the Masters this weekend. So I highly recommend you check out the Over the Top Miracle Golf Swing at MySwingEvolution.com. It changed my life. It can change yours as well. Okay, let's dig in. All right, so here I am out at Angeles National. This is probably my favorite driving range. They have good flat ground, nice grass. This is a Jack Nicklaus design golf course. And this was the first golf course that I ever shot uh, two under on nine holes. I shot a 34 on the front nine out here. Remember I had this, uh, this little three foot putt that was a little squirrely that made me nervous. But that was a big breakthrough for my swing evolution uh, to shoot that number. But it's a, a dynamite practice facility. I think Hideki practices here. So I'm starting to get loose here, and I really want to get that feeling of inside up and over. It feels a lot to me like a judo throw, like an over-the-shoulder judo throw move, because you have to keep your hips deep in order to throw somebody over your shoulder. Now here I'm working on the claw, that feeling of having the club head ready to throw down through the ball. So this swing is all about compression for me. I want to be able to hit down on the back of the ball. And when I, I dropped it under, it's, it's very hard to hit down when you're swinging out. I mean, it makes sense, right? Trevino's the one that always said you have to learn to hit down on the ball. 
And I'm so glad that I'm, I'm finally getting it. You know, golf is a big game. It's, it's not easy. It takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. But I think the value is in the work. The joy is in the work. So inside, up, and over, and hit down on the back of the ball. You can only hit down on the back of the ball if you have forward shaft lean. So now I pull out my hybrid. I'm gonna hit some nice smooth swings now. I want the club to do all the work for me, okay? I wanna flex the shaft and get it to spring through the impact. Just like that. So really, if I'm swinging well, this five wood shouldn't really feel any different than my pitching wedge or eight iron. It's just a body turn, and here I'm, I'm showing my figure eight. I did it backwards for my whole swing evolution. Now an inch is a mile in the golf swing, so going over an inch rather than under an inch completely changes the biomechanics of my action. Smooth as a gravy sandwich. Let's see if I can do one more nice and easy and get that club to flex. Just like that, guys. So I hope you'll check out the over-the-top miracle swing at myswingevolution.com and give it a try. Hit them long and hit them straight. Do you have trouble slicing the golf ball? How many times have you heard people tell you, you're swinging over the top, that's your problem? You might just have a couple of things wrong that are keeping you from being able to hit the golf ball straight. What if I told you the natural motion of swinging over the top is actually the best way to hit the golf ball? Would you think I'm crazy? Everyday players to PGA Tour professionals are figuring this out and it's changing their games forever. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. You don't have to be stuck with an over the top slice. You can actually have an over-the-top swing and pound it long and straight. So go to MSE TV and watch the over-the-top miracle today. Transform your game at myswingevolution.com.